Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to set status bar color in SSMS for different SQL Server instances. So think about a scenario when you are working as a DBA or developer and you have permission on different SQL Server instances in different environments such as development, UAT, QA and production. And uh, the, there is slightly uh, change in the name so you see here Amir PC SQL 2016 that's my development machine and for production we have P in the name so it is still SQL 2016 and I have 3 P2 so that tells me okay this is production SQL server instance if I will go ahead and open a new query and open the same query for development machine you see that this query doesn't really tell a whole lot story here we say we can see the SQL server instance name but that's kind of confusing confusing sometime as most of the parts of name are similar. So if you see here I have Amir PC is equal 2016 and here also Amir PC is equal 2016 and then we have 3P2. So if somebody overlooked it and uh, did not pay attention they can run the script in the wrong window and uh, that can be a really a problem. Now think about that this is disconnected now you are only connected with SQL Server 2016 that's our development instance but you see that the query window which is open maybe you left it open went for the lunch come back you say okay I'm connected with the development I'm gonna run this update and test it or run the delete and test it but you did not pay attention here this is actually production query window so that really can put you in trouble what we want to do we want to color code this part to different colors so we will always know where we are connected so let's go ahead and the first uh, we will do the thing for development and the uh, disconnect go to the connect window database engine and here we will provide a SQL server instance name and then go to the option and here we have a use custom color I'm gonna select the green as it is development machine hit OK and connect now you can open a new query and you see that the status bar color is green so I don't even have to read the whole SQL server instance name here to understand this is a connected to the development machine so now I'm gonna do the same thing for our production so we'll go to the production SQL server instance and then go to the option and here use the red color so let's use the red color this to tell us the okay this is where we will be connecting to this production and it is dangerous to run any delete or update as long as we really confirm and we do need to now you see that we have still SQL Server instance name here and this tells us that we are connected with the the production now if I will even go ahead and close this part now you come back here whenever you come back from the lunch or anywhere you will open a window you want to update it oh okay this is red that means uh, I'm connected with the production environment uh, I don't need to run this uh, update script or delete or uh, insert uh, if uh, I'm just uh, testing so I need to run in uh, development same way if you have a QA server maybe you would like to go ahead and color that part as yellow so in this case uh, SQL 2014 I'm gonna go ahead and make change for that one real quick so go to connect and here is our SQL Server instance name go to option and now you will be using yellow so I use these color schemes it helps me and always tell me which query window is connected to which server and I don't make mistakes by taking a look on these color status color color status bar colors or whatever you call this one so at least you have this color codes are here that tells you which server this query is connected thanks very much and i hope it will help you as well i will see you guys in the next video